Hey you, and welcome to the podcast. So excited today to talk to you about trusting God on your weight loss journey. And just saying to you something that was never spoken into my life when I was on my weight loss journey, when I was struggling with constantly giving into temptation, constantly <clears throat> doing what I felt like doing because of boredom, because of um, temptation, because of cravings, <clears throat> all of those things. Um, I want to talk to you about trusting God on your weight loss journey and how, how when you do this, it spares you so much grief, right? Because you're probably experiencing a little bit of grief on your weight loss journey, right? Like grief over, you know, what you can't eat, grief over what you see in the reflection of the mirror, grief over um, what clothes you can and can't wear, grief over how you feel about yourself or what you are thinking that other people are thinking about you because that's where my grief was when I was on my weight loss journey or maybe even grief over um, how long it's going to take, right? Because I had so much grief, grief over that. I kept thinking, oh my goodness, in order to lose this weight at the rate of one or two pounds a week, I'm going to be doing this forever. And that's the kind of thing where it that grief would overcome me and I would trust my circumstances. I would give into it. I would feed the grief literally, or I would drink the grief literally with alcohol, right? And so this morning I was in Exodus and I was reading about the Israelites and I was seeing how they were complaining and how they were getting angry. And it was totally reminding me of me on my weight loss journey, complaining and being angry. And as I was reading about them, I could see that their lack of faith in God was so like shocking. Like I wanted to like, you know, it's, it's easy to be like a Monday morning quarterback, right? When you look at the situation and you're like, hello, God was with you. He's there with you and you don't have faith in him. You can't just trust and obey and believe and do hard things. And I started being reminded of myself on my weight loss journey. And I teach this all the time in the Seekers Method to my clients that we are just like the Israelites, right? We complain about, you know, what we have to eat or how much we have to do, or, you know, how uncomfortable being disciplined is or being obedient is, right? And how, like, you know, inconvenient it is, right? And how, how inconvenient it is to have to cook the right food when the wrong food is just far more convenient, or it's far more comfortable to, you know, come home at the end of a day, a, a stressful day, and pour a glass of wine and make all the pain go away right? Like we complain about these things and we, we get frustrated with how uncomfortable it is and how inconvenient all of the things are that we have to do on our weight loss journey. And, you know, like, as I was reading this in Exodus, I can see how I can see that had the Israelites like, okay, I don't want to say this. I want to gather my thought. Like had the Israelites just trusted God, they would have been spared so much grief. So I want you to take a moment and think about your own life right now, your own weight loss journey. Right now with where you are at this point in your life, where could you be at this moment? Had you just trusted God in the last six months? Maybe had you just trusted God in the last year, right? Like think about what you've been doing over these last six months, right? Like where you know the Holy Spirit's been saying to you, start doing this, start eating this way, start following this person, start maybe even applying what Sherry's teaching you on social media when you follow her or what you hear her saying in her podcast. Maybe you've even been hearing the Holy Spirit telling you that it's time to start being led by a Christian life coach for weight loss so that you can stop conforming to the patterns of complaining and believing what you're complaining about and succumbing to what you're focusing on, which could be something that you're focusing on. You know, you're focusing on what you can't eat. Whatever it is, <clears throat> where could you be right now had you trusted God? I'm going to take a really quick commercial break and I'll be right back. Hey, you. All right. So I want to tell you about all of the new ways that you can learn from me, right? That you can be shown how to step into transformation. Because if you know that right now you are ready, you are ready to be shown how to trust, how to start persevering, how to continue so that you can stop wandering around, then you need to have just this is just you and I talking here, right? I need you to have a moment with yourself where you examine where you're what you're doing in your life, like where you are in your life, where you want to go. And then 
I want you to think about how you're going to get there because doing this alone, you know this, you probably have been following me for a while and you know, this is true. Like you just thought, okay, Sherry, I'm just going to do what you're saying, right? If it's worked for you and all of the women with the testimonials and everything you've shared, then it can work for me. And you've gone through this and you've experienced just how hard this is to do alone. I want you to know, I know how hard it is to do alone. And that's why God put me in a position to write the seekers method, not to just write it, but to lead it to teach women perpetually, show them the way, help them to find their way through so, so that all of us as believers can live in the freedom that Jesus died to give us that, so that we can stop being weighed down and mastered by our flesh. So that's why I have the Seekers Method. And so starting in 2024, you can enroll and there's a multitude of different ways that you can enroll now. So that's why I want to take time out to tell you about them. You can enroll at the level called the Seekers Method Light, And that's where you are in Facebook with me and with all of the other women in the community. And the Seekers Method Light is where you just have the community, you have my daily guidance, but you also have the things that I'm teaching you there. And you also have the weekly encouragement that I give you, like where I press, I press record and I give you a special, you know, three or four minute word of encouragement in the middle of the week so that you can make it through the week, that you can set yourself up for success on the weekends. And then when you're at, when you enroll at the Seekers Method Light level, you also get the Sunday Seeker Sesh. Right? And that's where I help you to set your mind for the week ahead. The other way that you can enroll in the Seekers Method is through group coaching, right? And this is, this is where the women who are serious about it, like they're, they've, they've experienced me at the Seekers Method light level and they're ready now to go deeper. They're ready for greater accountability. They're ready for fellowship. They're ready for community, right? They want to have that, that committed Christian sisterhood where women rally around them and pray. And so this is where in my group coaching program, we have bi-weekly calls that I call the thinner circle. Bi-weekly, we, every other week, I should say, we get on a Zoom <clears throat> and I help you to get unstuck. I give you free masterclasses. I show you what God is teaching me in his word. I help you to take thoughts captive, to understand what you're believing and how that's affecting how you're behaving. And then if you join at this time in 2024, when you sign up to be in the Seekers Method with group coaching, you get all a whole host of free bonuses. It's $150 value, a $150 per month value that I'm adding to the normal rate for the, for the group coaching. So when you sign up for that, you're going to get things that previously were not attached. were not a part of the group coaching. So when you sign up at the group coaching level, you not only, it's still in Facebook, you get the Facebook group, you get the group coaching um, bi-weekly via Zoom, you get the bonuses, you get everything in the Seekers Method Lite. So you get the Facebook community. You also get a private chat with just me and the women. You get the bi the weekly encouragement and the Sunday Seeker Sesh. Now, the brand new thing that I'm offering is the Seeker's Method Personal Journey. And this is all online, no Facebook group, right? This is, this is where you could stand up your own Bible study, weight loss support community, however you want to do it. You can do this alone or you can do it with a group of women. You, the Seeker's Method, you have it set up so it's emailed to you. I drip it to you daily. So daily you get the, the encouragement, the mind renewal, the motivation. You can have it dripped to you daily or you can ask me, you can send me an email, you know, after you purchase it and, and say, Sherry, I need it to be unlocked so that I can just see all of it and I can just do all of it. So I like to drip it to you so that way you can be able to just go on a, a 104 day journey and learn all of the things or you can go at your pace and just say, I want to know it all now and I just want to, you know, and I can give it to you and I can do that for you. You just have to send me a message after you enroll. There's a special link only for you to get in the Seekers Method personal journey. All of that information is in the show notes. There's going to be an introductory price and that is all in the show notes. Now, this personal journey is something that God put on my heart and it's, it's for the woman who doesn't want to be a part of the group or you don't want to be in Facebook or you don't have the time to do group coaching. You just want to have your quiet time with the Lord on a daily basis. You want to do the journal, which you know what? Incidentally, I didn't plan to say this, but I encourage you. If you want the mind renewal work, I encourage you to pick up a copy of the Seekers Method Journal. There will also be a link to that. There's only a few physical copies of that left. You have to purchase that directly through me because the publisher and I, we took it off of Amazon. And while I work to write the book, to rewrite the book, The Seekers Method, and girl is going through editing, um, while I'm doing that, The Seekers Method Journaling Companion has been pulled off of Amazon. If you know you're going to lead a group through a Bible study or you're going to do your own Facebook group or you're going to meet with your ladies at church and you want to do a weight loss Bible study and you know everybody's going to want a journaling companion, I encourage you to click on the link in the show notes and get this, right? All of this right now, everything I'm talking about is, is available at current prices via all of the links in the show notes. This price will be different as I progress into 2024. 
right? Especially for the personal journey. So if you are interested in doing this, all of the prices that you see there are introductory prices. I encourage you to go and, and get, get that as, as quickly as you possibly can. Now, who is this personal journey for? The Seeker's Method personal journey, journey? Well, this is really for the woman who wants to pull God closer and to believe more completely, to renew her mind to the truth of God's word, to break up with her old self, to begin to step into transformation. So go find the link of the thing that meets you where you are. You know, whether it's the Seeker's Method Light, the Seeker's Method with group coaching, or maybe it's the Seeker's Method personal journey, whatever it is. If you're going to do the light or the, per or the um, group coaching, we start on January 8th, right? And right now, the Seeker's Method Light is less, it's, it's just at the best price I've ever had it at. Go and enroll if this is what you want. We start on January 8th. It goes for 104 days. Um, if you want all of the bonuses that come with group coaching, and I'm telling you, it's going to knock your socks off. Go and get in the group coaching program. And we'll work together for the first four months of 2024. Or if you want to do this on your own or with your own private group, or you could even start your own Facebook group, go and get the Seeker's Method personal journey while you can, while it's available at the introductory rate. All right, back to the podcast. So here's the part that really hit me from Exodus 14. Um, this is when God said to Moses, why are you crying out to me? Tell the people to get moving. And then God made a way as he saw Moses's, Moses's act of faith, right? Like that's the moment where he parted the Red Sea. And it just landed on my heart because all I could see in that moment is myself on my weight loss journey, my clients on their weight loss journey, you possibly on your weight loss journey. It is time to stop just praying and thinking about what you know you need to do on your weight loss journey. And it is time to get moving, right? It's right now in your life, it's time for action. You don't need more prayer. You don't need more, you don't need more anything. You don't need more assurance or guidance that this is, you know, what I should be doing. You don't need that. You already have that. You know that if you do what you should do, you will accomplish what you set out to accomplish. You know that if you do in faith what is right, the right outcome will happen. It's this desire within us to just buffer, right? To stall. And when we keep praying for more guidance, looking for more assurance, um, this is just how we live in the land of excuses. It's a stalling mechanism, really, right? A stalling to postpone doing what you're avoiding doing. So if you know what you should do, then it's time for you to get moving, even in weight loss.